A lot of people have had armadillo eggs. Some people have had dragon eggs. But today we're gonna kick it up a notch and we're gonna make some angry dragon eggs. I've done a version of this before on Cribs and Ribs, but I really wanted this one to slap you right in your face. So here we go, everybody. Angry dragon eggs. <laughs> So let's get started. First we're gonna take a, about half a brick of cream cheese right there. And we're gonna really piss these dragons off with some fresh habanero peppers. If you've got scotch bonnets, those work great too. Real similar. So we're starting with about half a brick of cream cheese. I'm gonna take a whole habanero here, everybody. That's right. We're gonna chop it up, seeds, pith and all. I highly recommend using some rubber gloves while you do this, everybody. You don't wanna get raw habanero oils all over your fingers. You'll end up putting it in your eyes and your nose, burning your face with it. Heaven forbid you use the bathroom. It doesn't wash off real well with soap and water either, everybody. Mm. I can smell how spicy this pepper is. It's got some nice kick to it. You know what? Let's do one more. If we're doing angry dragon eggs, let's piss them off. Now use your best judgment, everybody. Do this to your taste. If you can't handle a whole lot of spice, just the, hot, the jalapeno will be fine by itself. If you don't think you can handle these habanero peppers, it's not necessary for the recipe, but again, I really want this one to be angry. So this is gonna be aggressive, everybody. I'm telling you now. <laughs> All right, you can see this is heavily laden with habanero pepper. Oh, this is gonna be good, everybody. Now, we've got this kind of mixed in pretty good. I'm going to do a pinch of cheddar cheese in there as well. Let's take a little taste of this and see how spicy it is that we're dealing with. See if this is going to be too angry or not. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's going to work. So we're going to start off with our jalapenos. All right, so take your jalapeno, slice it down the middle best you can. You want to get right down that middle. Get you a spoon and scrape the pith and seeds out. Okay, if there's a little bit of pith or seeds left in there, it's not the end of the world. Be doing this five more times. I've been scraping jalapenos all live long day. We've got our jalapenos ready. Let's go ahead and get the chicken ready. I bought these chicken breast cutlets. These kind of, you know, get me half of the way there. I don't have to cut them down or whatnot. But just to make sure these are nice and thin and, and tender, I'm gonna go ahead and whack these a couple times. Don't go whacking this thing too hard either, everybody. We're looking for a uniform, thin thickness. And that's gonna tenderize this chicken as well. So you see how thin that is? That'll wrap around those jalapenos real nice. Let's get a little extra seasoning on these angry dragon eggs. Use your favorite barbecue seasoning, but I'm gonna keep this going and really get this Dragging as angry as I possibly can, everyone. Using this Blazing Star seasoning. A veteran-owned company using exotic flavors from around the world. This is their Reaper Pepper seasoning. We'll get that sprinkled on real well. All right. Toss these around and get a good even coat. Let's get to constructing these things. Start with a fresh spoon. Yeah, baby. Ooh, it's got some nice kick. So let's put one of these things together. Sometimes this part can be a bit tricky. We're gonna get that cream cheese, cheddar, and habanero mix loaded up into the jalapeno here. Then place those two halves back together. To get that pepper and cheese mix filled in pretty good. Do your best to wrap that chicken breast around the, the jalapeno without lapping the chicken if you can. 
you know, you'll notice it doesn't match up perfectly. So do the best you can. Move it around until you find the best way to cover that up. Alright, that's about, I think, as good as we're going to get with this one. So we're going to be using three slices of bacon for each one of these eggs. This can be kind of tricky because the chicken and the pepper, you know, they always kind of slide with each other there. So holding this thing together can be a little bit tricky. You might get a little bit better results if you start with that middle strip of bacon. And then you just have to wrap your ends. If you can cover those ends a little bit, it'll help. It's not going to look the prettiest. Everybody, but wait till you taste it. All right, so these are ready to go for the smoker, everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and pop these on in. So I've got my pit boss set at about 250. Got those signature pellets in there. Putting these on the top rack, just cause the hot spot on my grill gets real hot. So I wanna keep it away from there so it doesn't burn. I'm gonna come out here about every half hour and turn it, move it around the pit boss and whatnot. And these will be done when we get an internal temperature of 165 and that bacon's nice and brown and crispy. All right, everybody, these have been going for, I guess, about an hour and a half. As you can see, that bacon's got nice and crispy. The inside's tepping out about 165, and I'm starting to lose my filling here, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull these off. Okay, oh man, this really looks delicious. I know I kicked this up a notch, too. I'm looking forward to tasting this. Hopefully, it's gonna be nice and spicy. I can't see how it wouldn't be. You can see why they call it an egg, everybody. Cross section of it kind of looks like an egg. Mm. It's got the mouth watering, passes that test. Let's get a bite. Mm. There it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for those habaneros to kick in. Once those announce their arrival, everybody, mmm, that filling is like white, delicious lava. It's beautiful. Chicken's nice and smoky. My bacon just holds it together real nice. Of course, what's not good wrapped in bacon, everybody? Mmm. You slice it up and serve it as an appetizer. Or here's another serving suggestion. I'm gonna put this on a hoagie roll with a basil aioli, fresh arugula, and a little bit of roasted red pepper. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Dynamite sandwich. You could put pretty much whatever you want on this, but that basil aioli gives it a nice freshness to kind of counteract this rich flavor. This is a delicious sandwich, everybody. <sighs> Cribs and ribs. Everybody, I hope you'll subscribe, like, maybe leave me a little comment. Sure helps the algorithm. I post new barbecue videos all the time, as well as reviews of Las Vegas's hottest barbecue joints. If you or anyone you know is considering a move within the Las Vegas area, I would love to be your realtor. Either call, text, or email, and we'll chat soon.